Hey guys, it's Doug Schauff with Remax Ocean Side of MakeManyourHome.com. In this week's episode, we're going to talk about when is it a good time to move into a bigger house? Let's do this. All right, guys, like I said, we're going to talk about when is the best time to move into a bigger home. This is a great topic. Whenever somebody's looking to upgrade, like maybe they, you know, you bought your first house, you started a family, and now you got to, you know, you need a bigger house. And then it also kind of goes the other way when you're looking at downsizing. But, you know, whenever you're making a move up or down, it's a tricky situation. It can get kind of stressful. And you're not sure about when to do it, not sure how to do it and all that stuff. I suppose we could talk about how in a different video. But today, we're going to talk about when is the best time. A couple notes that, that we wrote down here is, you know, when you've built up some equity so you can sell your current house and work out the contract to buy a new home, sometimes you might be forced into it just like the size of your family has gotten bigger or like if you, you know, your job, maybe you need to work from home, you know, in the, in the time that we're in now with the COVID pandemic, you know, a lot of people are working from home, so you might need a bigger house that might kind of force your hand a little bit. But as far as like when you've built up enough equity and things like that, that could help you make the move. So, you know, like if you bought your first house, you know, five, six years ago, and you've built up a bunch of equity. The good thing is when you sell the house, you could take that equity, use it as a down payment for your next house. So if you do build up a lot of equity on it, that could be very helpful. And it's a good time to kind of make that move, especially if you like, if you're looking at it, like, oh, I built up a lot of equity and it seems like the time's right, but maybe you're not thinking about doing it for a couple of years. You know, it might be worth starting to keep an eye on what's the market like, things like that to be able to make that move at the, at the proper time, you know, to sell your house, maximize how much money you get out of it so you can do that. The other point that, uh, that I'd like to make about when is a good time to, you know, move up to a bigger home is keeping an eye on interest rates. You know, right now at the time I'm making this video, interest rates are extremely low. So if you bought your first house and, you know, I'm just going to throw out random numbers. Like let's say you got a 5% interest rate on your first house, but when you move up to a bigger house, if you have some equity in that first house and you're able to put a decent down payment, but when you move up, Let's say the interest rates are now down around 3%. So your payments sometimes can work out to be not a whole lot more, or maybe even the same, but yet you get a bigger house. I think that's the obvious best time to do it. <laughs> you know, if you're looking at it from a financial and like a numbers uh, game, that's that's really the best way to look at it. But hopefully this was helpful. If you are considering making a move up from maybe your, your starter home or whatnot, to a bigger house. Let me know what questions you have. Comment below, I'm happy to help out. Hopefully this video gave you a few tips on, on when to move up to your bigger home. Uh, send me an email as well. Uh, hit us up on social media. And remember, if you make Maine your home, you don't have to do it alone. I'm getting old, I'm getting tired of taking